What is going on you guys, Bastion YGO here and today I want to talk about some real cool stuff that's been happening in San Antonio recently. As you guys know, I do reside currently in San Antonio, Texas and we've had a bit of a hub as far as the Yu-Gi-Oh! market has been concerned. So recently, about maybe 2-3 weeks ago, we had Eric Stewart, the voice actor for Kaiba, actually come down to San Antonio and he was maybe 5, uh, not five maybe 10, 12 minutes away from my house. It was really, really amazing. Of course, I, I, missed, I missed the initial visit because I completely forgot, but you know, it is where is I should get a calendar I understand um, but I was able to go ahead and get some merch from so that was really really amazing uh, they was they still had a few signed uh, signed uh, uh, fungal pots from so I want to show those to you guys because I just think they're really really cool also this past weekend we just had the San Antonio collectors expo here and Honestly, I had no idea this was even a, a thing. I just heard, I just started on Facebook for the first time late yesterday, so I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and check it out. So, show you guys a quick clip uh, of what it was really like. It was really cool. I uh, wish it would fix their AC because it was extremely hot in there. But I did pick something that was absolutely amazing. That's when I go ahead and start off the video with, guys. Uh, so just go ahead and bear with me. So we got the Millennium Puzzle. I was so excited when I saw this. this is the only one that was on the table, or at least the last one according to the guy, but who knows, you know? Uh, so honestly, this is really, really freaking cool. I, I am still debating on if I'm actually going to be like opening this up or just keeping it in uh, in the box, but it's absolutely fantastic. It's funny, I asked the guy if it came with instructions, and of course it doesn't because they wanted to make it as uh, as much of a replica as the real uh, anime as possible so you know it, it didn't have hieroglyph hieroglyphic instructions for the Millennium Puzzle in Yu-Gi-Oh! so neither is this I, my, my biggest fear was that it was going to be in Japanese because I cannot read Japanese <laughs> uh, but this is still really really amazing like I said, I don't think I'm going to be opening this up anytime soon. Uh, maybe for like a subscriber milestone, that'd be pretty cool. Maybe for like uh, when we eventually do reach like, like I don't know, maybe uh, shoot for 10k. Maybe for 10k we'll be opening this up, building it on stream. That's something that'd be really cool. Uh, but that's just absolutely amazing. Uh, so you get to go ahead and see the side of the box. Comes with all of the, uh, show you how it's gonna look. So, 3D puzzle. So, this is much of a replica as you're gonna be getting in real life. So, it's absolutely just beautiful. And then it comes with all the pieces right here on this side as well. Honestly, I thought they would only sell this in uh, in Japan. I didn't think it would be it would be over here. Uh, but this uh, something that's really really just uh, threw me off guard. So definitely something that's really really cool. Thank you so much. Uh, I think his name was Greg. Greg Villanueva. Well, anyway, if you're out there, Greg, appreciate you, bud. <laughs> Next up, guys, I just want to go ahead and show off two more things to you guys. So we got. Like I said, uh, Eric Stewart, the uh, voice of, voice actor for Kaiba, was here in San Antonio again, just ten minutes from my house. I'm so uh, I'm so bothered that I completely forgot that he was coming on that day. But I did go that very next day. Go ahead and pick up some merch from. So first things first, we got a signed Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Uh, there we go, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, signed by Eric Stewart, voice of Kaiba, right there. So that something is really really cool. And again, I just want to go ahead and show this off to you guys. I mean, this is absolutely this is beautiful. And as you can see, my background right here, it's just a bunch of just my clothes and mirrors and uh, trade binders over here, my shoes. So eventually, that's going to be changing. I do want to go ahead and display these in the back of videos. I think that'd be really, really cool. Uh, I don't know what you guys think. Uh, but it's not the only one that we got, though. Um, they didn't have any more of the Kaiba figures. Those went e instantly, pretty much. They ran out of them. But they had the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, and they also had Obelisk the Tormentor, which I thought was so freaking cool. Uh, so Obelisk, of course, is the uh, is the Egyptian god that Kaiba had in the anime. Uh, Merak had the Winged uh, Winged Dragon of Ra. Yugi had Cypher the Sky Dragon, and then we have, of course, Kaiba's Obelisk. So really, really cool to get this as well. And I really just got both of them because I couldn't decide which one I wanted. Like, yes, blue eyes, uh, like, he's known for having blue eyes, you know, and things like that. And blue eyes with him as dragon is like the dragon when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! Probably one of the most recognizable figures in all of the uh, all Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. Uh, but then also, you, you can't say no to the Egyptian god. <laughs> so that's really, really cool. I think uh, I'm honestly not too big on the on the Funko Pop uh, collecting uh, until I got these. And now I'm honestly very, very much considering 
uh, having a type of like a collection perhaps or or something that'd be really really cool uh, something I also throw in here is actually a, uh, a gift from a close friend of mine his name is Godfrey in uh, New York uh, so we got a Trickstar Holly Angel OCG so that's very very beautiful as well uh, so I haven't opened it, I, have it, I keep it sealed, but as you guys know, if you guys have been on Channel 4 uh, for a few months now, I'm a huge, huge Trickstar fan, and uh, once we get Lightstation 3, I will be playing Trickstar as my main, um, unless it comes out while Splite is being relevant, because I'm definitely going to be picking up all the Splite juice, and I'm going to be saucing up everyone, I, that's straight facts. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this is pretty much it for the video guys, I just want to go ahead and show you guys a quick update for uh, what I was able to pick up uh, in this past few days, I'm just really really excited about it, uh, quick recap, we got the Obelisk Tormentor, uh, we got the Millennium Puzzle as well, we got the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, so uh, be on the lookout for the background changes to uh, background change on all my videos guys, I'm really really excited for that as well, but if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like down below, subscribe for more. Um, not, I don't really do uh, these type of like collection show off uh, uh, videos often, but I just say on something that's really really cool. Also, also quick quick point I should say for anyone going to nationals uh, in the next uh, this upcoming weekend, be sure to prepare. I have a whole bunch of videos coming out throughout the week, uh, letting you guys know how to prepare for the uh, for the nationals, what to expect, uh, as far as rogue decks, meta decks, how to counter certain cards. Uh, that are gonna be yeah, you will be seeing it's not like a question you will be seeing it national So just make sure you stay prepared Prepare for not only meta but prepare for rogue as well I cannot stress that enough, but let me know how you guys do if you guys are going to nationals if you don't have your invite yet Remember there is an LCQ last chance qualifier uh, I believe this Friday right before the uh, right before the national tournament So it's not too late if you've not done so already. Uh, I will not be attending. Unfortunately. I do not have my invites I never claimed to be good at this game. I just really like to play it <laughs> uh, But if you guys did enjoy go ahead and leave a like down below comment down below uh, If you guys are going to nationals again, let me know subscribe for more videos guys and I'll see you guys in the next one